Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, fam. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. We got to talk about Rick Ross. Rick Rose Rossi, yeah, he in trouble. He say you big Michi, Larry Hoover, get in work. Hallelujah. One nation under God. Real niggas getting money from the start. Yeah, big Michi. Hey, Larry Hoover, get in work. Hallelujah. One nation under God. Real eagles getting money from the epistar. Yeah. Y'all ain't not to rap like that. You didn't know. Child, I had to take out my teeth, put on my night clothes, and come back in here for another video. Yes. And I can't believe Rick Ross doing slavery trade. Is he doing sweats? We call sweatshop working children when he ain't shouldn't be doing it. I read these violations. I said, there must be some out of touch people with the out of touch parents because ain't no way in the world my child would have been paying for no uniforms to work up there at no wing stop or anybody stop okay damn sure wouldn't be paying for no training so i don't know what is rick ross doing over there he making atlanta look bad he making atlanta look bad but we gonna get into the local news station here in Atlanta, Georgia, called 46 News, Channel 46. Get in where you fit in, people. Get in where you fit in. Uh, let me see who wrote this article. I'm trying to give them a little shine. It was Jamari, wait a minute, Jamarlo Phillips, okay? Published it on the 16th, okay? At 6.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Get with it, okay? Oh, they titled the article, Feds Find Rick Ross and Family Members Over Multiple Wingstop Restaurants Violations. I'm like, what are they, kingpins down here or something? Rick Ross, what you doing up in here in Georgia? Just because we come from the clay, the dirt, and we southern, you ain't got no business working these children. Like, they in sweatshops and stuff. I thought you was up. I thought you was on the up and up, but it seems like... You trying to play a movie in real life. Yes. And they should have your behind. Hey, you might need to be in jail to tell you the truth. But I don't know which side you're working for. Because everything's crooked in this world today. When you think you got justice, you got injustice. You know what I'm saying? What we think is right, hell is wrong. The scales have tilt. The scales of leadership and justice have stopped. We didn't call it tilted it over. All right, but let's get on into the story. We don't want to tarry too long. I don't know how in the hell I put that picture in there. But like I said, I'm getting tired. <laughs> I already did two videos. This is my third one. And then I'm off to La La Land, okay? In my bed under my sh nice sheets and covers, okay? <sighs> okay, we go on into the story. It says the Miami rapper reportedly owns nearly 30 wing stops franchises across the U.S., and often promotes the company in his rhymes. All right. Well, is he putting some time up in there? Because he needs to be doing some time. He's stealing from the government. He's stealing from the children. And you know, Rick, you don't love the kids, do you? I thought you loved the kids. But Rick don't love the kids. All right. Getting up there, getting fat as ever. It ain't talking about in his size and stature. I'm talking about in his bank account. Doing these post holes like that. Oh, he need to have his behind whooped by his mama. Okay, but moving on. It says uh, Atlanta, Georgia, CBS News, 46. Uh, multiple wing stop locations in Mississippi run by rapper Rick Ross and his family have been fined by the Department of Labor, Wage, and Hour Division for several violations. Let's read them violations. Why don't we people, the Department of Labor, Wage, and Hour Division, uh, announced it collected over 114 
thousand. Okay, four hundred and twenty-seven dollars in back wages, liquidated damages, and civil penalties from five wing stop locations in the state, operated operated by Boss Wing Enterprises. The Department Wage and Hour Division investigation discovered several violations of the Fair Labor Standards Act, including the following. Minimum wage is at the top of it, guys. Violations when paycheck deductions for uniforms and cash register shortages cause some employees' average hours rates to fall below the 725 federal minimum, minimum, uh, minimum wage. Then we have overtime. Overtime violations when the employer's deductions for safety training and background checks illegally decreased the rate of pay in weeks when workers earned overtime and led boss wings to pay overtime at rates lower than the federal state requires. Third violation, record keeping. Violations for failing to maintain a record of employees' hours, work, and wage deductions. I'm like, what? You had to be running a sweatshop. And these people that you employ, if they're kids, you're using them like sweatshop kids. You know, like you just work them 24 hours a day. They don't get to sit down. They don't get to eat. And then they get paid poorly, way below the minimum wage, okay? We look at that in those countries like Thailand and, and uh, what's up? What it called? Indonesia. Um, the poorest countries where they do this kind of shit at. Uh, cheap label. That's why they... Us, or we call it resource everything outside of the United States because they know they can get cheaper uh, goods made at a cheaper low rate. You know what I'm saying? And they inflate it when it comes back uh, to be sellable to the consumers. Now, that's some bullshit. I'm like, Rick, Rick, what about your ancestors, man? We had to be up in the, what you call it, the slavery. We didn't get our reparations. And now you acting like a slave master. I don't understand, Rick. I don't understand. Are you a... Black man? No, are you a white man in a black uh, man's body? Had to be, because you sitting up here want to be living in the fanciest homes, mansions. You want to have your, because uh, I understand, you, I think I did a video on you uh, in my archive of videos that you want to put a playground like Neverland and Michael Jackson's thing he had over there in his estate. You want to put one there for your uh, grandchildren. Like, you know, go to Ross A. House. He got the full setup. He got playtime for all the little kitties. And he got in adult entertainment in the house. Okay, adjacent to the house that he live in, okay? I'm like, Ricky, 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 Ricky. Mm, look like some jail time need to be in your possession. Quick, fast, and a hurry so you may never do this thing again. Yes, we not need to just find his behind. I think you need to serve at least a year. Six months to a year. In a penitentiary. So he'll never do this crap again. Ever again. Or better yet, let's see some of his wing stops for a couple of years. And see how that fares out. Just thinking. I don't know what we should do with you, Rick. But it should be something punishable. Not just by the law, but nature. <sighs> but I don't think you will understand if people hit you in your pockets. So I don't know. Yes, it probably need to be more fines coming your way. Trying to uh, work the 14 and 15 year old people like they ain't got no business. Kids ain't got no business working at 14 and 15 years old either. Whew, but anyway, well, I can't say I worked at 15, but I was almost turning 16. I had like four more months before my birthday. But I showed him work past. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't even tell you what I did. Hell, if I worked for $3 at the time, because I'm a 68 baby. So I don't even know what it was when I was uh, starting work. So. That's, that's too far for me to go back. I can't even entertain that thought. But anyway, restaurant industry employees work hard, often for low wages, and many depend on every dollar earned to make men's eat, make ends meet, said Wage and Hour Division District Director Audrey Hall in Jackson, Mississippi. The law prevents Boss Wing Enterprises, LLC, from shifting operational costs to workers by deducting the cost of uniforms cash register shortages, or training expenses were to allow worker pay to fall below the minimum wage rate. The operators of the, of the locations are also accused of record-keeping violations with the DOL WHD, 
saying they failed to maintain a record of employees' hours and wage deductions. Now I'm like, what kind of... You pimping these kids out, man. Are you pimping these kids out? You they pimp and they and them your hoes. What's going on, Rick? What is going on? I'm telling you. Rick, you need to go sit yourself down. Okay, and we need to have you a uh, um uh, what do you call it? A monitor anchor ankle and a bracelet around your ankle, which is to monitor your every movements, okay? Because this is not right. You can't mess with the children. You're supposed to be the children of the world. They are our future. And you sitting up there putting them right back in slavery. A black man putting their own kind back in slavery. I don't understand this, Rick. I don't understand it. Okay, but anyway, let's go back to the article. It says the investigation also discovered Boss Wings allowed a 15-year-old employee to work past 10 p.m. on multiple occasions last June. The law prohibits 14 and 15-year-olds from working past 7 p.m. That's right, Rick. What you got a 15-year-old person up there working? No, they need to be going to school. This wasn't in the summertime, was it? And hell, they still don't need to be up there. They need to be back at their home with their families at least 10 30 okay and you sitting up there letting them work past 10 that's some bullshit rick and you need to pay for it you need to really pay for it okay and i want them to do a follow-up story to see what kind of reparations they took from you because this is this is you can't mess with the labor laws the children laws rick it's laws out there you think you're above the law or something who somebody ought to teach rick ross a lesson but anyway we go back to the article it says rick ross his sister, Tawanda Roberts, and mother, Tommy Roberts, are listed as owners of Boss Wings Enterprises, LLC, in Mississippi. So, see, mom and sister, if anything go wrong, he gonna blame y'all. Y'all gonna be his downfall. Can't believe that you let your own son pip you out. And the sister, I can't believe it. I can't believe it, honey. I can't believe it. But y'all keep doing this. Y'all gonna have a nice sale right next to each other. In the penitentiary. Keep messing with the labor laws if you want to. Keep messing with them. Okay. Going back to the article. It says the Miami rapper reportedly owes nearly 30 wings. Well, he owns nearly 30 wing stock franchises across the U.S. And often promotes the company in his rhymes. Okay. Well, he need to do some time while he rhyming and having these children work in a little... And it, it's probably ain't even sanitized. It, it's probably ain't even a good place where you can go. See, that's why I'm a boycott. Uh, wing stop. Do we have a wing stop here in Georgia? I, we ain't going to them. Rick Ross got the children working overtime. They ain't getting paid. They get below wage. Man, they should have. They should be boycotting all the way around them wing stops. That's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. But what I need you all to do, make sure you smash that. Subscribe button and like. Okay, subscribe and like. Get get it get, get it together. Subscribe and like. The 48th World videos. Smash and like. Smash and like. Yeah, go and do that now. Do it for me. That's why I be coming around here and trying to entertain y'all. Entertain myself too. Because I do get a chuckle off myself here and there. Okay, I can't make my own self laugh. If nobody else want to laugh with me. <laughs> But Rick Ross, yes, he's in trouble. He, people ought to be talking about Rick Ross, okay? Everybody should be talking about this story. Sitting up here living in mansions and stuff. He got folks living uh, below the poverty wage. Now, I know Candy, well, Candy, yeah, she got in trouble with that shit too, didn't she? Maybe that's why I put this in here. Yeah, she ain't paying, she wasn't paying one of her event planners. And they, they, they handled that situation. Yes, they did. Behind closed door. Where brother man got paid. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at Todd kind of wrong, too, because he he had Brian, the little, uh, the little thing they had, the OLG, um, what do you call it, sitcom show that they had, um, Brian, to, <coughs> towards the end of the first season, <coughs> he had went into business with Todd. And from my understanding, Todd wanted 50% of his business, which I was like, piss poor, well, you know, Brian was just ready to get his company off the ground. Hell, he really wanted a truck. Then several months after that, Todd told me he finna get a, a, a food truck. But he couldn't give Brian no food truck. You see what I'm saying? That's helping somebody out. That's reaching down, pulling somebody else up so they can return the favor and do the same thing to somebody they wants to pull up. You see what I'm saying? Oh, but black people, we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. Okay, because sometimes we have black people charging for these services to pull you up. You see what I'm saying? And I think Todd charged a little bit too much. He should have got maybe 
Okay, because we didn't know how the stuff was unfair. Just because his egg rolls, meaning Brian, was a hot commodity item. And Todd had tried to invest in it, or he did invest in it. But I think Todd was a little bit piss poor. And Ken, I'm looking at you too. These folks have, you know, they work for your establishment. And you definitely pay, uh, what did you pay? Did you pay $9 an hour? Because it's 725 so, um, I think they were, it's between, y'all oh, family, y'all tell me, because hell, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot, come by, if Ken ain't paying them jokers, Twelve thousand dollars. Don't nobody need to be up there working. Don't nobody be. But I think they get paid nine dollars, y'all. It's nine or ten dollars, which is a travesty. Just a, a plain travesty. But see, that's how people get. They worry about that money. They got to keep that money because they want them. Uh, they want to keep themselves in a lack of luxury that they are uh, accustomed to, and they want their children to be doing the same thing. But then they're ripping off other people's kids or grown people that's trying to make ends meet by taking an idea that they formed trying to take it away from them so they can make more money yeah i'm talking about talk because i remember this shit i was mad i think i did a video on it like damn how black people gonna pull black people up if we continue to take advantage of them in and everywhere in their pocket and wallets okay i don't understand that i don't understand that kind of mentality we got too many business going on with candy and and Todd and uh, Rick Ross got too much money. I'm like, damn, how much is enough before you, you know, you keep, you know, ripping folks off in your own kind and that. I mean, we expect the white men to do it to us because they've been doing it to us forever and a day. But it's bad when your black folks turn on you trying to feel like they're doing something for you and they're robbing you too. they robbing you too. Okay, just putting the screws to you. Putting the screws to you. Oh, but family, I don't say it my piece. I read the article to you all. Then y'all get down in them comments. Am I right? Am I wrong? Tell me which one. Tell me which one I am. I'm, I know my family's going to come through and say, no, nah, you right. You right, Dale. <laughs> and I, I, girl, I'm like, I would never eat up another wing stop place. <coughs> Even if it was the only thing there besides vegetables. I would just... Fill up on vegetables before I go participate in a wing stop. Because this is a bunch of mess. And that's how you can hit people like Rick Ross that do uh, underhanded shit like this. You got to hit them with a pocket where it hurts. And that's going to be the pocket. But that's all I got. Y'all ain't got no more. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Good night.